We got Olu, we got Doc together. They are Earth Gang. Welcome to the show, y'all. Thank you for being here. What's good? What's Thank happening? You for having us. What's up? Look. I'm really excited that you yeah. guys are here, okay? Just flew in from Atlanta to be with me in the very cold New York. Yeah, it's I'm very, very appreciative. <laughs> the real Atlanta, right? We yeah, talked about that before. Yeah, we're from Zone one. 4. Okay, you know see, I don't know Zone 4, so but I believe only, It's only really like, for real, for real, four zones that can claim Atlanta, and that's only because they got parts that cross into it. So it's, it's the one, the four, the three, and the six. Okay, and y'all are from the four. Yeah. All right, so we certified in here. Yeah. All right, the certified. ghetto gods are in the building. What's happening? Now, let me tell you something about this project. It is so beautiful Great, from like top that. to bottom. Thank I you. am so interested in the composition of all of it. Thank you. That's, okay? that's, a, that's a great way to put that. Thank you. Yes, no problem. But, of course, you know, we got to get into the other stuff. Yeah, and, like, you it. know, you guys have known each other for so long. Yeah, Literally, yeah. high school. Yeah. How did you remain solid to be able to really, like, you know, get into each other's minds and really put out amazing work? Like, we see it elevating. And this one right here, can't wait to get into the music, but how did the relationship stay sane? Um, I think one one big thing that I could say is, uh, you know, I I think before we... One thing, we was, we, was, we was homies before we started saying that this was going to be our goal. Like, we just... Regular friends, just in class type shit, you know. Right. And that, the, having that kind of basis is is good. But even like you want know to say, wasn't like two people put us together. Like yo, they just go rap. Let's make them a group. Like right. we, was never, we we wasn't created. And then like outside of that, I think a big thing is just like once you do realize that y'all locked in on a on the, on that kind of situation, on like a career decision from a friend decision, is make sure it's a common goal. You know what I'm saying? Like we both want to be as great and as big as we can be. And I feel like if that's you know what I'm saying this part of the journey, then we both respect that. Yeah, yeah and, and also our community, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. like before, after we started rapping, after we doing all this, I found like, and like this, this sister's girl I, I grew up with, she like my sister, I done known her since I can remember anything. Mm -hmm. She like, his auntie low key like related to him and yeah. stuff and like everybody around us, like Southwest Atlanta is just a tight, close knit community, you know what I'm saying? And like we able to keep those ties strong and the people around us who are in the studio when we make music together, like it's, it's more than just the two of us that you see here, you know? Yeah. But yeah, so. It's it's all woven together. Yeah, and personally, it's like you guys are family now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course, you've been rocking with each other for so long. How is it when, you know, somebody is in a different zone? Like, say you may not be in super work mode right now, but Olu's like, now nah, we got to get this done. How do you guys manage and balance mm -hmm. that? Or are you always on the same page uh, we, or respect I mean, each other? I don't other think nobody's now? always on the same page of anything. Like, two humans are two humans. Yeah. Three humans, four humans, however many humans. Humans are different. But I think... Uh, where when it comes down to like not being on the same page, mm -hmm. like I said, you still gotta have, you know what I'm saying, what they call the the just thought mindset, the bigger picture mindset. So like as long as you focus on the big picture, all of them not on the same page days ain't gonna matter ain't gonna matter when you write like a series of books, you know what I'm right. saying? The, the 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 anthology at large is what we is what we focus on. Yeah. That's what I focus on. And I think you um you do what you can in the moment. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Like if, if 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 and the bare minimum shall always be pushing you forward into the next space. So if it's some Zoom calls or if it's you know what I'm saying like some meetings and stuff like that's cool. You could do that. That's easy stuff. You know what I'm saying yeah. like that don't really take nothing but effort. You know and I think sometimes a lot of times that's the most important thing just to continue to push forward rather than you know what I'm saying I'm gonna push forward for 20 minutes or I'm gonna push forward for two miles. You know what I'm saying like I'm gonna just go forward take this next step right now. So. I think that's important. Yeah. There's so much to accomplish. So, of course, you got your head on straight, huh? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. know that's Sorta. right. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's subjective, but yeah. <laughs> I know that's right. Now, Ghetto Gods, how did you get into this space to really, like, you know, hit those levels? I feel like we've been through so much throughout the pandemic. You guys have been talking about this album for a while. I feel like oh. last year... 2021, I remember hearing about it, well, yeah. and then 2022, it's out. Um, you know, it's funny. I, I went back on my IG after we dropped it. I was just, you know, I guess I call myself cleaning up my IG. I don't think I really took off nothing, but I uh, archive some photos. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah trying try, try, try to tell myself to do that. I might took down like one or two, but the, when I got down to like one of the, some of the earlier posts, I'm, I I found one. 2020 where I was like the album coming out next month like I was yeah. saying I was like it was album time and that's 20, it's the end of 2020 it's like December like yo we finna put something out next January that's and what I'm like, saying and that was just me just you know what I'm saying just saying that like we hadn't really even discussed that but I just felt like we were so close 
then and what's so crazy about the process like I think I think I'm glad that it took the time it did because it we got a chance to like a lot of this stuff and a lot of inspiration the songs the voices you hear mm -hmm. uh the additional skits and all that stuff came through like the third and fourth quarters of creation you know what I'm saying like a wow. lot of that stuff came from like being at home really settling it in with being at home you know what I'm saying like a lot of stuff we made on the road we was at the crib for this project so you know what I'm saying we was able to talk with a lot of people that we ain't necessarily had that much time with it's only been in passing up until, uh, for the past few years, you know what I'm saying? So like, now I'm mean, I'm I'm back kicking it with like I was I've been kicking it with folks that I ain't really kicked it with that hard since high school, you know what I'm saying? Really? But like now like I'm back I'm back in the city like once once I left once I left Atlanta for college and then got kicked out I went from getting kicked out of college to next thing I know I'm a touring artist. So yeah. I never really took like we never really took like the break to like really just be back home and just be in the vibe of the city again. Do you think people took that personal? Uh, not, not to me. I mean, anybody that love me, you love me, bro. Like, if I love you, I love you. Like, I ain't, I ain't. We gonna pick up where we left off, regardless. Like, I got homies I ain't talked to in a long time, but when I see them, we gonna talk about the last thing we talked about. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's, it's I think that inspired the project a lot. It's just like picking up where we left off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With our community, with our people, family, friends, or whatever. Like, it, it was, it was low key a, a shock. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure, like, for everybody else to be like stationary for five, six months. Low key can't go, can't take no flights, can't do this and do that. But yeah. after everybody like kind of start getting into this new norm, like the bonds that have been built as children and stuff, like started to like continue to grow. And I think that was like what inspired the the bulk of this album. You know what I'm saying? The majority of it. Right, and you guys knew the name of the album for a while too, because I told you I heard you mention it in the back yeah. a minute ago, and you said like you know to all that I was listening. The name is Ghetto God, so if y'all take that, y'all already know, like, you know, where you heard it <laughs> yeah. from first. Mm -hmm. Where did you get the title, and how did you guys come up with that? Um, that was just like a ser a, one, of them, one of those moments, you know what I'm saying, where we, we thinking, it's not always like come together, let's think about this and make, the, make this album name, but it's, I don't know, sometimes in the creative process, like, you just had those flashes, it flashes in the pan and stuff, but... We it really, just fits so perfectly yeah, it was with perfect. everything. It's really like the alliteration, <laughs> like, it's fun to say, easy to roll off the tongue. But with us, I mean, we wanted to, like, show, like, like growing up in Atlanta, like, we wanted to show, like, the dichotomy of, like, what, is, what it's like to grow up in the neighborhood where we're from, Southwest Atlanta Zone folk, you know what I'm saying, the ghetto, but also, like, to, to show, like, the, the, the beautiful parts of it, the godliness of it, the beautiful aspects of it, where it's, like, you got people who come from nothing, but they still making it, they still inspiring folks in their community, they still having a great time, they still figuring out who they are, and not just inspiring people in the community, but inspiring people across the world, you know right. what I'm saying, in they, in they own right. So that's where the name of the album came from. Yeah, now I'm not going to go in any particular order with the joints. I'm just going to go off of, like, you know, yeah, the so ones that hit me the strongest. Yeah. I'm going to save Amen for a little bit because I want to I dig deeper into your love lives because I like <laughs> Amen a lot. But American Horror Story, we have the video out to that, right? Yeah. And... As I was watching the video, in my mind, the... Okay, so basically in my mind, the way that you guys set it up is that everything is happening in front of this crib on this one block. And the way that you guys end it with that door opening and then seeing the car, it's like a part two of what happens when maybe that's the next step in somebody's, like, you know... Yeah. Like story. Yeah. Am I correct about it, that? Yeah. Or was it, I thinking it's, too? It's a valid interpretation. I don't like to tell, tell people correct or incorrect when they interpret. It's like, that's yours, and that's a beautiful one. But that's a good one. Okay. I mean, like, so it's like, no, nah, <laughs> no, nah, what we intended was like. Just everything yeah. on this block and yeah. not moving. Well, yeah, we intended to like, I mean, the, the block that it was shot on is like an old apartment complex that I grew up in. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like friends and family grew up in. And um, But like what we intended with this project is to kind of like each set is pulling back more and more layers right. of like our experience growing up where we are where we from so like the doors open up to the next song strong friends which finna drop tomorrow yeah you know what i'm saying I'm excited so like about and that. Then just even with you mentioning this like like growing up and you being know what I'm saying stuck. where we from and, and being stuck like it's crazy how the car is like not moving but but also moving yes. but it's beat up too and it's like growing up as a child like it's so many beat up cars that we don't piled into our right. cousins driving our uncles driving and stuff and it's like another kind of like deeper look into like our lives and like how we like still depending on each other and how we all like Everybody is low key kind of like riding together. You taking somebody with you wherever you go, whether you realize it or not. You yeah, know? 
Yeah. Okay. So I'm happy to know that my interpretation is not too like crazy. Nah, like, girl, what is you talking you about? He, it could have been crazy. I still would have let you have it because it's you like, wrong. bro, that's why we make art. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't, right. You can you can you can try to deliver a message, but at the end of the day, like, what people draw from it on their own is kind of what makes the decision if they if they gonna come back to it or not. Right. So. Absolutely. And I'm coming back to see the video for Strong Friends, and I want you guys to kind of lean into that. You know, we hear. Check on your strong friends all the time. And, you know, we live in an era where social media is taking over everything. And, you mm -hmm. know, depression is at a uh, high sure. mental illness. Everybody's checking in. And it's just a lot happening. So what did <laughs> strong friends mean to you? And, uh -huh. you know, how do you make sure that you are that strong friend for your people? And how do you check up on yourselves? And I think, I think, I think we all are the, the quote-unquote strong friend in, in different situations. Mm. You know what I'm I think it's situational. Some of us handle certain news better than others. Some of us handle certain situations or experiences better than others. Right. And we got to, you know what I'm saying, what, we, what I think a message that's like kind of an underlying message that I was saying in that song, which is, of course, the main message is check on your people. But yeah, underlying yeah. is like if you see somebody in a situation that they are more adept at, at, at handling than you, then it's okay to lean on them yeah. with that respect too. Because like, and, 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 the the bigger part of that is is pushing your own pride out of the way. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, this person handles, you know what I'm saying, when things are tough financially, this person handles it well. Let's 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 like let's work with them and make sure they good, you know what I'm saying? But also like let's let's lean on them. Or like this person handles this well or violence or whatever the whatever the things is that that, that tear us. There's always somebody who's like just well, for whatever composition or whatever experience, a little more equipped than the next person. Yeah. Let's, and if we all working together, then everybody got a, a, point, a point where they gonna shine. Yeah. Yeah, and also like being able to 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 open up, you know what I'm saying, being vulnerable and talking about whatever's going on in your mind, being able to like identify, you know what I'm saying, those proper That's relationships happening. and stuff and like being able to like, okay, I know this person, I can trust myself with this person or I can just trust this person will not judge me with what I'm saying, but not even putting the accountability on the person, but, like, putting accountability on yourself to, like, be radically honest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just to be radically honest and say, like, uh, let me pull you to the side real quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is what's on my mind. I know sometimes, like, some certain relationships we have, especially in the workplace, you know what I'm saying? Like, you... you 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 thinking about work, you thinking about what's the next goal and yeah. this and that. But a lot of times in our relationships that we have with people who we who who there's other goals outside, like it's good to kind of tap in and check in with each other and like just how you feeling with your mental space and like what's going on in your life. You know? Yeah. Hey. It's hard to be vulnerable sometimes, you know, especially when you went through trauma and yeah. like you dealing with people who are not in a great space and it kind mm -hmm. of all like impacts you, you yeah. know? Even even on the song I said, might even get clowned for opening up now. Cause it's like, even yeah. I, it was at the end of my verse, I'm like, I said a whole bunch of stuff. I'm pretty much opened up and I know y'all probably still gonna climb me, but look, it's out. I'd rather I'd rather give you that than let you doubt what I'm feeling, you know what I'm saying? It's like right. I'm gonna say what it is. Did you go through like a specific moment in your life that made you feel like, okay, I have to be more vulnerable or like something oh. that kind of flipped the switch for you that said, I'm gonna be more open about this? Uh, I, think. I think over time for me personally, I just I've just I think it's I think it's been more gradual. I don't think it was like just a flip switch. I think just over time I've just been one, just, I mean, obviously you love yourself more every day if you're doing it right. And you should, everybody should try to. Yeah. And two, uh, like, when when you just get kind of like, like, maybe it's my phone, maybe it's the conversations I was having, maybe it's like whatever it was, like I was just kind of getting washed with these like half, half truths, half stories. Yeah. And I was like, well, it made me want to just be even double down on myself and double down on my own honesty because it's like, well, at least I know one thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I get a lot more stability from knowing I'm clear. And knowing that you lying to me, kind of, you kind of saying something, you being nice, you being, you know what I'm saying? Like trying to figure out uh, intentions is harder than just just being what you are. Yes, I yeah. think um to kind of to that point, like as a as a child, I think we're a lot more more honest. Children are a yeah. lot more honest, you know what I'm saying? Of course, those because we don't have those experiences that that teach us to hide our feelings or teaches that or we may get or in intentions trouble. with what to do with your words. Or, too. Sometimes yeah. it's a little like, but like you know, what I'm saying? I think when we, as we grow up. We we lose that, and I think yep. like writing this song, or like even before writing this song, like you saying, was there a specific moment? I don't think there was this a specific moment, but I think you know what I'm saying. Looking back on like the joy and the freedom that you have as a child, as yeah. a kid, is because you're not trying to hold on to nothing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just like, hey, bro, like it is what it is. Like I'm not hungry right now, or you getting on my nerves, or I want to leave. You know what I'm saying? Like you shouldn't say these 
simple statements and they don't feel no way about it. And I think we need to continue to take that in, into as adults and stuff. Like so, so the shame is like not there no more. Yeah, you almost have to get tired of yourself and the way that you were living before yeah. in order to see the light of like, you know what? Yeah. I'm tired of being so <laughs> like, yeah. let me put my guard yeah, down. My I'm tired of thinking everybody's out to get me. Yeah. And if they are out to get you, you ain't going to be less out to get you because you told the truth. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, you might well stand in what you got. Right. Now, you mentioned loving yourself and whether or not you're doing that right. That's how you know. You know what's coming. What are ways that you love yourself and like um. found this newfound love in, in you? I don't know, I've, I've always kind of loved myself. A little bit? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's old videos my mama got of me loving myself at three, but, like, even mm-hmm. still, like, I, you know what I'm saying? You just got, as far as, like, just loving yourself on a day-to-day basis, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Get, give me yourself, like, the little things. And, and, and really just for me, my biggest my biggest thing for, like, self-love is, and I'm not doing the self-care talk, I'm just love. Come on, self-love. Come uh, on. It's, it's just gratitude, bro. Like, just literally gratitude, like, you, it, it, that's the biggest fighter of depression. That's the biggest fighter of, of negative thoughts. It's the biggest fighter of killing yourself or hurting yourself or harming things around you. Yeah. It's just it's just little slices of gratitude throughout the day. So yeah. I'm always looking for stuff to be for thankful sure. for. I think that and um, forgiveness, self forgiveness and grace. I think. Hello, that's, that's speak a, on that, Olu. That's a big thing because like, you know what I'm saying. We all trying to figure this shit out and we don't got no rule book. You know what I'm saying. So like right. even. If you look back and be like, damn, I did the best that I could, and it still wasn't enough. You're like, that's cool. Like, you did the best you could. Now you know. Now you learn and give yourself some space and give yourself some time to grow and continue to learn more about yourself. You know, I think that is a huge part of self-love is self-discovery and giving yourself the the room to continue to grow and expand and learn more about yourself. Absolutely. Every L is a lesson, yeah. not a loss, you yeah. know? And that's how loss. we can... I said, that, that was New York as, as hell. That was where you from? Really? Where you from? Yeah, yeah. Long Island. Long Island. Yeah. Okay, for sure. Did for I sure. say loss? Loss. 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 I never hear it until somebody else is That was it me. right there. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, we're speaking of self-love, but we got to talk about the skit, My Boo. Who? Is that? That's DC on yeah, Fly. Okay, yeah. all right. I yeah. thought so. He he did the skits on he our little the EPs. Yeah. He from the foe. Yeah. Zone yeah. foe. Certified. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. He okay. did the skits on our EPs up until Mirrorland. Yeah. And then we didn't use them on Mirrorland. Not in a, no type of thing. We just was like really in on the music on that side. And then the fans was like, yo, what happened to the skits? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the skits <laughs> so are he, important. Yeah, we was like, they was like, keep that story going too. Like, we like both stories. It's kind of like, you know, our family guy had like a main story and then like another story. Like, yeah. It's like, it's like that kind of effect just through music. So it was good to bring him back on them. And he killed that My Boo skit. Yeah, he it's did. It's like my favorite one. It was like, yo. Yeah, it's the yo. <laughs> and this is why I was saying the album the is so intentional from beginning to the end. So the fact that you said a lot of that came together in the fourth quarter, I'm like, how? Yeah. Because it sounds like, you know, it was just so Because we, we, we started perfectly. off just making a bunch of music, you know what I'm saying? And then, right. And then you start organizing it, and then you start like, seeing what it actually is. Like, oh, wait, this is a thing. This is a body of work. This is more than just a playlist. So then right. you start, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that comes right before Amen, Perfect, yeah. Music Soul Child, Whom I Love. Now, tell me how this collab came together, and then we're going to talk the details of the record. Uh, the collab came together... <laughs> On listening to the radio, heard heard it's sunny, and I was like, you know, this is my favorite part of the song, the little break. I don't know about y'all, but that's my favorite part of this song. That uh-huh. song's an amazing song. But when that break come on and they start doing a little, huh, I'm like, yo, yeah. what? I'm like mm-hmm. catapulted into heaven right there. <laughs> if I'm in the club, I'm seeing that bitch out. So yeah, I'm like let's try to sample this shit, see what it come up with, and um, so sampled it, got together with some of our producer partners, you know what I'm saying, and then one of the one of the partners who I produced a record with. He works with uh, one of the music's engineers. Right. So I was like, man, ask him if you want to be on the record. And, you know, bro, asked him, sent him like a rough. And he was like, yeah, he down. He said he going to pull up tomorrow. Tomorrow? And tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. I was like, damn, he in town? You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. <laughs> like, he in the city? Yeah, he going to pull up tomorrow. So we all drove way out there. Some We was out there in goddamn like Lacona or something. Mm-hmm. Way out there. And he pulled up. He was hella cool. Decatur is not Atlanta. Like a, we chatted for, him <laughs> for like an hour and a half. <laughs> He's silly. We chatted him for like an hour and a half. He got in there and 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 started going crazy, putting the stacks on it. Yeah. Nah, that joint was surreal. Was we had a couple of surreal moments with like idols through the creation of this project, like people that I've listened to since objectively elementary school. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, bro, like it's crazy. Okay, so yeah. with Amen, you guys are talking about a different kind of love that. 
pray for you kind of love. And I don't hear that on records I, enough. I mean, especially from men. That's one time I'm about to say, yeah, that, see, that, that's, the inter- that's what we talk about by talking interpretation about right there. Type of love. So, like, we saying. All right, we saying, wait, I'm wrong? <laughs> no, nah, I said that's you... interpretation. That's how you felt it. Yeah. But so how you felt it? I'm saying, when, when I, I first, know we, when I, when I first heard page. Get Down Your Knees with Me, I thought the song was about getting some head. So I'm like, okay, cool. And then. And then I'm like, the prayer aspect is cool, but I'm like, I mean, I, I don't know that she's not doing both at the same time. Oh, I can't prove that, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah. like, no. like where's the lie? Like, and then, that, like, and, then on the and girls, I, quite honestly, I would prefer that. Like, give me, you know, pray for me. Why you, why you, you know what I'm saying? Top me off. That, I, then I know. I know it's girls out here who want rings too. You know what I'm saying? So they might want a nigga to propose too. You know what I'm saying? Oh so yeah, I didn't like, think about that. Yeah. I wasn't thinking about that at you all. I was thinking about prayer, and I was and like, wow, they getting deep. I mean, it was head first. It wasn't really head. When it's double entendre, but it was like it's double entendre. Yeah, or however many entendre. You need, <laughs> but it's really about 000. just like I mean, if you if you if you love them, show them whatever way you want to show it. If you really care about somebody, show it. If you want to show it by giving me some head, go on. I ain't gonna. Who gonna stop you? <sighs> wow, <laughs> you know wow, you? my dreams in the song. <laughs> I was like, look at it. <laughs> I mean, it's still a dream. It's still yeah. <laughs> to each their own, right? Yeah. Subjective. Now, talk to me about romance, and you know. Being in this space, you guys have been touring before, you know, the pandemic, and then we get locked down. What are your love lives looking like? Are you guys in a relationship? Do you have family? Like, what what's that looking like for you? I, mean, I got a little son. That's my that's my number. That's my numero uno. I'm a little four year old. But uh, I mean, I yeah. do I do well. I do good I'm on, the, on, single, the, on the love market. I do good. I mean, you single till you married. That's what I was raised. Okay. So you know I what I'm saying. It. You single till you yeah. married. You could you could you could pick some significant others along the way. But I ain't married yet, so. Yeah, it's, it's just figuring this shit out. Like, like the way our lives is going right now, like, it takes a strong person to be a part yeah, of Yeah, I definitely want to get married. Man. Hey, if you if you, if you that strong ass <laughs> bitch out there and you hear this shit, like, it's hey. a strong person. But, um, <laughs> I mean, we ain't, I mean, I'm just enjoying, like, being able to kind of, like, just figure it out as I go. I used to have, right. like, a set. I mean, I still, people always say make a list. You know what I'm saying? I got a list. Of what I think you everybody, like. I think of, of what you want in a person. Okay, I hold think on. everybody should make a list. What's on the list? He said a list of what? That means you don't have a list. No, don't you should, need a you list. Make a you list. don't need a list? I'm okay. We, we think differently. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> we, we, let's tap into that. <laughs> a list the is list. tight. I just think it's it's like... When did character. you come up with this list, by the way? Probably like 2020. Like way, like long time ago. You know so what that means that you're... Kind of ready to to. I mean, I thought back then I thought, but then it was just, but then it turned into being like you know, like continue to live and continue to like see and through experience. actions rather than being like trying to hold somebody up to a list. Yeah, it's continue to experience, but it's not wrong to like have a map or have like things that you care about. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like it's like a vision board. Who don't like? Yeah, yeah. Who hate vision boards? Like, of course. you know what I'm saying? Like vision board. I agree with you. Niggas have niggas have goals. <laughs> I write. Some people write goals down. Some people write ideas and dreams down. You know, they can't all just live in your head. Of course, people, that's how you manifest. Yeah. So like, hey, if, if niggas want a list, write a list down. You may not get all of these things. You people not perfect, but you may get some things that you really care about and some things that are important to you. And you know, give me a few things live. on that list. Uh, let me see. It's so crazy because it I was with, I was, bro. I be, I, 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 like I, don't, I don't write nothing like I don't have no journals I like with me. This. My idea. I is, journal. You be I journaling. Got two a lot of, like, a lot it, of some people be journaling, bro. Sometimes writing is like very important. What it is. What I got? I got all like ambitious, creative. Come on, what you it? know what I'm saying? Like self forgiving, patient, mm. like certain things, like kind, certain things that you like care about. You know right. what I'm saying? I feel like there's no problem like writing those things down. If not, then you're going to find yourself on a date with somebody. You're like, why am I even here? Yes. <laughs> you know Ooh, what I'm saying? Yes, yes, we, yes. We could have just fucked and like kept it moving. Like, right. that's what we wanted to do. Like, why am I here wasting time? But I think it's cool. I think growing up and seeing like people who are evenly yoked or people who are right for each other, I feel like it's tight because y'all see that. And I'm sure y'all had some fun before y'all got together. I'm sure you met a lot of people who you know, ignited some fire, but it wasn't no longevity in it. But, mm-hmm. I mean, it's cool that you're able to see that. I mean, I'm a businessman, so I feel like marriage is a business. Partnership is a business. All so of it. You should always, like, know what you want out of this transaction. Okay. I respect it. I do. I like that energy. Now, Doc, you said you're complete opposite. I didn't say I'm complete opposite. I just said I don't make lists. You don't make lists. I just dive head first into love. Okay. I love love. I like being in love. Being in love a few times. It don't always work out. It's not always malicious on the end. Uh-huh. It's just, you know what I'm saying? I believe in love. I believe in I believe in learning a person. And I believe in, you know what I'm saying? 
if 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 it don't go the way if we don't, if we see where we where we at odds, then we just see where we at odds. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's funny because that's the reason why I made the list. It's because like I like I'm a very passionate person and very as like if I fuck with you, I fuck with you, I rock with you. It's love. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes it's like yeah, this might be love, but it's like yeah, but we don't like I, pulled I, each other so far out of. Our, our, our life purpose right. because we so much in love. You right. know what I'm saying? It's like, eh, we can still love each other, but it don't have to I mean, be this. You yeah. Know? yeah. There's so many different dimensions to it all. And I think once we let go of, like, you know, some of the conditions that are surrounded with Yeah, I'm about love, to say, to me, the only love is unconditional. And that's right. probably, and, I, and I, that's something that I didn't really experience until I had a kid. Because, you know what I'm saying? I didn't realize that, had, that all the other times it was like, the clause was right. in the agreement that I didn't notice. You know what I'm saying? Unconditional, so like, but still with boundaries. Oh yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, I'm yeah. not saying. I'm not saying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm right. saying? It, it, Some everything people is mix cool. that no, up. Yeah, though. no, yeah. but there, I mean, everybody has a boundary for their life that that keeps them healthy yeah. and keeps them sane. Like I'm right. not saying violate that on anybody's for anybody's love, because then right, right. then people start using that word incorrectly too. Right. I'm saying actual love is like no, okay, no matter what your like. Inherent flaws are if they're not harming, if they're not harmful, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna be here for you. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're not obviously be my ass or like you know what I'm saying nothing yeah, like yeah. that, then obviously you know what I'm saying there are lines to draw. But like I felt like you know what I'm saying I I got my first like real to me unconditional like, without nothing love from my kid, and I was like you know what I'm not I'm not taking nothing else when it comes to the love department. Like I'm not ain't no can't no woman not say you gotta love me the way my child love me, but you got I gotta know that it's like. We square on. We got like a base level there. Ain't nothing gonna yeah. change. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah. And it, and it's it's funny because this this made me think about like a lot of the times. And I like I haven't pulled this list up like often, but like whenever I do, like even if it's like every eight months, every ten months, it's like a reminder that like these are the things that you should be focusing on yourself first. You know yes. what I'm saying? Like like you said, yeah. like he he see he's seen it in his child. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So he and knows that's how you know. what to see. So it's like you should see these in yourself. You should see these and how you interact with other people. Therefore, you'll know again when it pull up. Yeah. Know? Yeah. And that's how you attract it, too. Yeah. You know? I like that. Now, moving on, we got power. Yeah. What does power mean to you? Y'all got CeeLo Lo <laughs> Green talking rapping that too. talk. Rap, it rapping, sounded like. Rapping, rapping. He had a lot to say. He's been holding that verse in for yes. a Yes. Yeah. Like, Literally. Finally, I can get this off. I had to go back a few times like, wait. It sounds like he been waiting wow. for this comeback. Finally, he got it off, man. And was, he's spitting. Yeah. It was, it was no, nah, shout out to CeeLo, the power Y'all got record. Nick Cannon. Oh, yeah, and Nick Cannon. Shout Talking out to Nick Cannon, his too. talk. Yeah. Big, big shit talk. You know, it's funny. Uh, a lot of people, when they saw that song, and they, a lot of people didn't listen to the song because them two was on it. Yeah, it was I was like, very confused when I saw it. I was like... <laughs> a lot of people was like, CeeLo and Nick Cannon, was, you got your art folks who like, this the, this art don't match. You got the political folks who like, oh, toxic masculinity on yeah, 10,000. Oh, like, oh, like, what are we going to do? Like, but I was like, I have to listen to see what, like, but, you But I know? mean, everything happened for a reason. Everything happened for a purpose. And sometimes you got to put a lens on the things that you may be a little less comfortable with just to learn another type of just lesson. To, just, you know yeah, what I'm just saying? to learn lessons. Like, yeah, sometimes it's like, look, those might... They, I'm sure these people got lessons and things that you can learn from that I'm you may saying, not want to go. You may not want to go down their path. And, but I, and like, I, can't think of a, I can't think of a human being that I that I yeah. do respect on this earth that I that I've learned from that didn't have no, no type of no flaws. flaws. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like so, where we, where we going with that is that's a slippery slope. So right. we're not even gonna go that way. But the song was created by the same dude that did Strong Friends uh, beat wise. Uh-huh. Dish shot the dish. That's my little dog. This is a person who believes in love too. He about to get married. That's like my dog. He like inspired me to be in love. Really? But like, yeah. Oh, I love but like, that. Uh, <laughs> he he uh, we, you know what I'm saying? The song was made. We was on shrooms at the house. Okay, and that takes you to another level. Yeah, where you, so you know you, you start seeing who bro, you really want on, shrooms, on that. You, 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 you first, you first, you start talking about like you watching cartoons and shit, and then you start thinking about conspiracies. And by the time you've had like the laughter of <laughs> of all these kind of conversations, the beat playing, and you like nigga be pressed to make a you know, middle white man name, blah, blah, blah. you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like you start, you start, you get right, you, you literally right into it. I ain't write that shit down. Like it was just like we just how I just went wow. right into it. And like um, that song, that song is so special because. When CeeLo heard it, he we played him the whole album, and that's the one he chose to get on. Yeah. So he was like, nigga, by all means, thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, whatever one you want. Like, he was like, I like that one. I was like, okay, this is cool. And I was like, well, this is perfect, because I was kind of thinking of him, like, the initial version of the hook, I sang it myself. And I was like, man, I wish, like, we had, like, a CeeLo figure yeah. to do this. And then when he came, I was like, well, I'm glad you like that one, because not only are you going to give me a verse, you're going to go over that hook I did. Yeah, yeah. You're going to make it, like, grand, you know what I'm saying? So it was, it was cool. And then what about Nick Cannon? How did that come about? <laughs> did KP hit Nick? 
Yeah, KP hit Nick. Shout out to KP, KP also yeah. our, our executive producer executive for the whole project. The whole project, and like he hit, he hit Nick Cannon. He brought CeeLo through to the. Um, yeah, he brought CeeLo. Was the, the vision for too. Nick just to be like talking his talk yeah. though, or did yeah. y'all originally yeah. want him I, to? I didn't want try him to do, do nothing do... rhythmic. To be right, honest. that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I'm cool on that. I yeah. love Nick to death, but I ain't. I but heard did you tell Gigolo. him that? Like, if he would have came through like that, I'd have been like, man. Like, did you have to say, hey, please don't do that? Just talk. Nah, he's just like, nah, just, just, just. Because he's living in the moment. You right. know what I'm saying? It's he's like, super man, living in the moment. I speak, love Nick. Let us know what's going on. Get pull back, pull back the curtain, man, so we can really see. Because like a lot of times these brothers need their own platform where they can say really what's going on in their mind. Because once you get so famous, yeah, everybody want to speak for you. Yeah. I was about to say, say, you got to think about how many of these conversations that yeah, are had yeah. about these people, the people that are they're had about are not yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I know I so, so many think pieces. So many conversations so and think pieces and tweets and posts about these people. And by the time... You as a fan or a listener have read everybody else's ideas about them. You're not even going to the source. Right. Yeah. And it skews your idea of them. Yeah, Literally, yeah. when I saw those names on the on the record, I'm like, what's ain't on we about all of it? <laughs> everything that you said. And obviously I'm like, now nah, I gotta hear it. Yeah. See what they did. And I'm like, wow. All of those misconceptions kind of like, you know, are put to the side mm-hmm. when, you know, they talk and they talk like that. So that was that, a great. That song did really well when we was doing our little like live shows too. Like we did like like a little baby tour before just to promote the album for free, um, free shows in different cities. Nice. And when we did Power, they would be like it was like a movie. Like they would be floored, they'd be clapping, it would be like a whole. It was like a whole different type of like usually our shows is like just energy the whole time. They were like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They were like embracing it a different type of way. Feels and I was spiritual. Like, it's powerful. Yeah, it feels it's... very spiritual. That's why I asked what power means to you. And like, you know, there's so many de- different definitions of that. And especially, you know, in this country with patriarchy and all of that. Yeah. Power, where where does that set in uh, in your life? To me, it's the ability to kind of like, I mean, the uh, true definition is the ability to dictate the terms of in circumstances of people's lives or yeah. in certain situations. But you know, so I like to look at it on the positive side because we already know the negative side exists. Like, there's, yeah. there's no doubt about that. But to to have power is to basically like change people's lives for the better. You know, for the better. Yeah. Absolutely. What about you, Doc? Yeah, I mean, I think I think power is just the the ability to influence and create change for in any type of situation. Like, when, if you have the ability to to make something that was one way now another way, then you got the power. Yeah, and like, especially with with black men in 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 this industry. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. We we are looked at as having so much power, but behind the scenes there's so many different strings and so many different like like just so much going on behind the scenes yeah. that people people are quick to like judge you off of the actions that you make and it's like, you know, there's a lot going on. It's not just me sitting up here doing everything that I wanna do. So when able when, when I'm able to do things how I want them or in the space that I want them, even if it takes five years, ten years and we able to do something small or big, like you should pay attention to these things too because these things are important. And so many like like athletes and and, and, and rappers and stuff mm-hmm. that had like foundations going on and doing small things and a lot of times those things are never they never given the light. You know right. what I'm saying? They always wanna like talk about like when they mess up, when they fuck up and yeah. shit. And it's like, yo, like y'all not even paying attention to the power that we do have in right. these spaces. Yeah, and we we just wanted to ca- also question what like you was doing like question what power is. Like the first like challenge of of our idea of power that was said like niggas be pressed to claim a street with a white man name like think about how that's what I'm saying think about how often you grew up and then folks was like they this dude run the block blah 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 this dude this this dude that but like none of us really own none of it you yeah. know what I'm saying like at that, all that paradox is like you know what I'm saying it's, it's so hard to break you know what I'm saying yeah. it's so hard to like get out of that it's like yeah we all feel like you know what I'm saying you can feel like you the man. You know what I'm saying? In a certain situation, but th- when you see how big the biggest fish is, like, you're you nothing. You know what I'm right. saying? So it's like, well, uh, well, we, if we open our eyes to what the biggest fish is, we will strive for being bigger than that fish and we'll land somewhere in the gray space. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And what's kind of scary is that a lot of times in our communities, we don't know how much power we have or which ways we can infiltrate with our mm-hmm. creativity and things of that nature. And with our unity. Like, we could do a yeah. lot more stuff if we just wasn't fighting each other. Like, they, they, a lot of times the power comes from them, from their ability to sit back and watch this fight. Exactly. And, like, you know, we're so conditioned to feel like we have to either go this way or that way. And if we don't, there's no success in our future. So that just, you know, forces people to hug the block and force, mm-hmm. forces people to fall into drugs or, or gang violence and all those things because they don't feel like they can deviate from that, you know? Mm-hmm. So I think that message that you guys are sending in power is really important. Um, 
along with the entire album, what songs are your fans gravitating to the most? You a lot of me is it's been a, a for me a surprise. Like I love that song, but I I considered it an album cut because I when I heard it, I was like, man, this ain't this ain't you know what I'm saying you know you, even if you don't want to have it, you got like the subconscious checklist of what everybody think they like these yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. So like I'm like, well, this definitely ain't that. I love this shit, but like I'm gonna just love this shit. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, we it came out, and so many of the fans gravitated to that like within the first few days. Oh, wow. That's why we ended up doing it on Fallon because it's like, well, this it's moving kind of on its own. Like the fans have chosen this one. You know what I'm saying? A lot yeah, of it's, yeah. it's a super light. Like, Groovy, swanky side record, you know what I'm saying? I was going to ask why you guys performed that one particularly. That's why, because yeah. the fans, was, they, they didn't even ask for it as much as they just, it was just, the numbers was going up on Spotify. It was like, mm-hmm. well, wow, like, I didn't see that coming. Let's see how it goes. And it went well with the band, too. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was great. Olu, what about you? Um, what are you gravitating to the most right now, on the album? Um, I'm probably gravitating to Strong Friends. I'm not, I don't play it out, though, now. I'm, I'm about over it now. You yeah? Know yeah, it was, it was on repeat. Like a month. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not even like repeat, but it was just like my favorite song for a month. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I, right now, I'm, I don't, I don't care. I'm recasting I'm about to say, my ride right now. I don't know if I got a favorite on the album no more. Yeah, keep in mind, we done had it longer than y'all. Yeah. I, my, all my favorites is on the next album. <laughs> okay. And is that already done? Close. Okay. We getting there. We getting there. But I, we got, I got favorites already, so... Something happening. <laughs> yeah, and would you consider it a part two to everything that we have on Ghetto Guys? Because I feel like there's more that we need. We, we can consider it a part two. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's start there. Let's start that buzz. Okay. Get that whisper going. Let's talk about the women on the album. You got Ari Lennox on there. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love that record. You also got Baby Tate. Mm-hmm. Talking her talk. Yeah. Representing. Shout out, Baby Tate. Hello. Nobody shaming. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also the skit um, right before American Horror Story. What Lene, is it? Lene, Lene, uh, yeah, Neezy's Walk. Neezy's Walk. Yeah, she um she a content creator, scholar. That was a really poet. important skit yeah, for me. Yeah, we want want to make sure we get because we be seeing her do her thing and she be killing it like she always dropping hella knowledge and it be very thorough. And it also be funny too. And yeah, I'm about to say it. Yeah. She don't. She don't just be trying to like. She's not just trying to appease like a certain type of audience. She's saying you like can tell. a yeah. very clear thoughts and very, right. very thorough. Like he said, thorough, like thoroughly discussed. Yeah, topics. and and then she a poet too. You know what I'm saying? So we're like, well, for sure, we're gonna we're gonna give you this time to shine after after a song. So I mean, like like Black Pearls is is, is just a, a wild song because yeah. it, it begins with like talking about how. Black women are, you know what I'm saying, objectified and yep. sexualized. And then the song is kind of like, you know, but you can still turn up and shake your ass too. Yeah, but then balance. Afterwards, yeah, balance, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then afterwards, we want to give y'all the, the 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 firsthand, you know what I'm saying, perspective of like what it's like to be a black woman in America and what better way to do that than to ask a black woman yeah, to like... I said, we couldn't say it. To, yeah. Exactly, and that's what I appreciate yeah. about yeah. it. I appreciate that about all the records that you have with women on there because you're allowing them to give their side yeah. without, you know, we, especially in this era, I am tired of hearing <laughs> what these niggas got to say <laughs> about what women are doing with their bodies, their time, and their, their everything. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, at some yeah. point, it's like, bro, who cares what y'all got to say? Like, yeah. Right, like, yeah. hello? I feel Not that. Yours. I feel like, I feel like people should... Mind their business. <laughs> yeah, especially yeah. as a like, man. Like, yeah, I feel yo, like, yeah. I feel like, chill. 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 Be quiet. Yeah, right. Like, it's cool, bro. You can be quiet. It's, it's okay. It don't make you weak. Yeah. Be quiet. Like, <laughs> so yeah. the fact that you guys allowed these women to really, like, you know, say their side and, and do that strongly, I was really appreciative of that, especially with the skit. Um, because, you know, that's Lene saying her version of what's going on for black women and only a black woman can say that. Yeah. So yeah. that's really appreciative from a black woman. So thank you guys sure. for that, for sure. 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 Now, with this project, it's so creative. When I watch the video, I feel like I'm watching, you know, a series. Like, I want y'all to come out with a show now or something. Yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. Like a, like a sitcom. Like, I mean, yeah, it's y'all. A sitcom with the studio audience. For real, <laughs> so that's the way we designed them. You know what I'm saying? Episodes. So we got we got four more, one dropping them all, then three more every week after that, leading up to tour. Can you say what records are getting videos, or is that um, a surprise for everyone? Uh, no, nah, we could give we give it out. I ain't I'm, y'all chilling. Yeah, right. we got um, strong friends tomorrow. Yeah, Billy after that. Okay, and then Amen after that. Yay, <laughs> and then power is the last one. Okay, yeah. I'm excited for that. That's yeah. all gonna be a movie. I can assume. We felt like these are like some of the ones that we really wanted to pinpoint to like yeah, give say, like a snapshot into the project. You right. know what I'm saying like 
these these point on major themes of like all of like kind of yes because there's so much in there there's yeah. love there's you know what we're dealing with socially yeah there's yeah. so many different points that you guys hit so yeah. is it all going to come together yeah, they lead so. it to the next one. Yeah. <laughs> Was that the plan? Yeah. 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 You know see? Nah, each video will lead into the next one. So okay. it's like, and then at the, yes. end, at the end, we're going to drop the full joint. It's like 19 minutes long. It's fire. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited for it. Thank you guys so much for being here, for, you know, giving me the space to dig into the music the way that I did. Nah, I appreciate um, you for listening to the album. I appreciate you guys listening to it. You'd be surprised. A lot of people are in the people, yeah, ain't, ain't never heard, heard the album. album. Really? They heard like whatever song was sent before we got there. Yeah. No. They ain't really listened to the album like that. This is I a project that. that you have to listen to from yeah. top to bottom in I mean, order to understand. And the way that you guys sequenced it, too, obviously, was that. You know. That was super intentional. Yes. I mean, <laughs> we we uh we went through that sequence God knows how many times. Like I, I don't even want to say a number because I don't want him to strike me down. But it's a lot of times. Yeah. And then but like all our projects have always been that though. All our projects have always been like the project is the star, not necessarily like this the single to, you know what I'm saying? Finally get finally get them what you want. Like, nah, it's like nigga, this whole thing the thing, bro. Like we all we put too much into all of this for it to be like, this is the good part. Yeah. And everything else is just fluff. Like we, like we put something in every all of this. Yeah, you can tell. It's very intentional. And I'm excited for whatever you guys have coming next. What about the tour? I'm excited for that. Yeah. I'm excited tour. to be back on the road, touring, doing our shit. Um, yeah. t- tickets is on sale right now. It, it officially starts on 420 out in Oregon. Yay! We going everywhere. Yeah. Okay, 420. Yeah. We lighting it's it up. Mm-hmm. Oh, we didn't even get to talk about the Zaza skit because you know what? <laughs> when I listen to that, the same question comes in my mind when I'm like, so if I go to Jamaica, what am I ask for? I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. Really I'm gonna keep a buck with you. The butt. The butt. I don't know what Zaza is. The butt is not that crazy anyway. They still smoking out though. That's what I'm saying. Which is cool because they still doing a lot of things very naturally. We smoking, you know what I'm saying, stuff growing in these little in these little sheds. It's right. really strong. The high you know grade. Yeah, high grade. So what do you ask for in Jamaica? Uh, you just be chilling. You just hit. You just hit. Are you just gonna get a headache I'm off that. I'm saying in Jamaica. In Jamaica, you just take a joint as it come by. I did more drinking than smoking in Jamaica, to be honest. Like, I, was, I was out there off the rum. Off the rum. Off the rum. All right. <laughs> and Water Boys, we didn't talk about that Gotta either. Talk about Water Boys. Y'all yeah. got J Cole to talk his talk on that, and yeah. I like when J Cole gets braggadocious. I do too. I, I think he should do more shit like that. Yes. That's, that's, that's the code that we. That we that we champion motherfucking also uh that's J-I-D. I, yeah jid my brother killed you can oh, tell that it's family just always, listening to it i'm killed. like he always smooth come this is the his third thing. member but i was gonna say <laughs> the we was talking about fourth quarter energy coast in his verse seconds before we had to drop the album no you know way what I'm saying? Like, it was it was it was last it was last minute you know what I'm it was a buzzer beater and that's 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 what's so far you know what i'm saying yeah it's like you know the song he won he, the game with that. Yeah, exactly. Him, him and Jid had started the song. I didn't even listen to it for a long time myself until I was like, okay, this is definitely Man, going on the album now. The, mm-hmm. the song wasn't even supposed to be on the album. We we had two sessions back to back. We had our session, and then we had Jid's session where we were just playing records, going through. Our session was really more for the track listing. Okay. Jid's session was we was playing records, listening to his album, giving input and stuff. Right. And he played the record during his session, and everybody was like, "Man, what the hell is this?" You know what I'm saying? And like, it wasn't, he didn't even put no verse on it. was just the beginning how I started. And they were like, nah, man, this got to go on the album. Yeah. And he's like, all right, What's let's it? do it. Damn. <laughs> What's it called? Let's that let's internal go. momentum. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I, I understand that assignment. I'm going to go in and do my thing. And then that was after they sent me theirs and then Cole sent his last. And we was like, no, it was perfect. Shout out to the Water Boys in Atlanta, man. Shout out to all the Water Boys. It's a whole culture. Yeah, y'all be hustling, and I see y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to elevate y'all. What's so crazy elevate, since this yeah. song been out, I be so scared that one of them going to know it's me. I be giving so much money to them boys now. <laughs> really? <laughs> I be like, yeah, bro. $50, bro. I, bro. I just want one bottle, bro. Right. I, bro, I, I, I did ask, gave a kid $100 for nothing the other day, bro. I was like, you know what, bro? Just take it. Oh, y'all. I hope you split this. I know he didn't split it. That's fine. But, like, yeah. I was oh, like, he took was, that home. Well, I know he took that home, bro. I know he ran off there. Because I saw him looking at the rest of them when I gave it to him. I was right. like, hey, bro. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know who I was either. But I still, yeah. I was just like, bro, you know what? You have inspired uh, something I'm probably going to end up making some money off of. Nigga, here you go. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Here's your cut. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. The album is perfect. I'm excited for more. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. Earth Gang. Thank Olu, you so much. Doc. My people. 